Welcome to the latest edition of Word on the Beach, Green Street Advisors' monthly market insights. Join us as John Stewart, an analyst with Green Street, to discuss one of the hot new sectors in the commercial real estate industry, data centers. John, tell us a little bit about how these stocks have performed recently. Sure. Well, candidly, going back to last summer, the stocks had been priced for perfection. And the proximate cause for the recent sell-off was the third quarter pre-announcement from Equinix, Equinix is a C-Corp, uh, essentially a retail reseller, a co-location provider in the data center business. And on their third quarter pre-announcement call, the CEO made several comments indicating they were seeing pricing pressure in their business. And investors essentially extrapolated that news to the data center REITs and essentially came to the conclusion that the data center fundamental party we had been enjoying was over and that it was time to turn out the lights. And it seems like short interest in these names is still somewhat high. Is there a further concern here even after the sell-off? Well, data center stocks do still trade at modest premiums to asset value on the order of 10 to 15 percent, but that's down from the 35 percent asset value premiums at which they had been trading prior to the recent sell-off. And when you consider that a name like DuPont, which incidentally is the, the number one most heavily shorted REIT and also one of the, the top 50 most heavily shorted uh, stocks of all New York Stock Exchange listed companies, this, this is a name whose in-service portfolio is 100% occupied and they have six years of average remaining lease term with credits like Microsoft. Um, after the, the recent sell-off, it's hard to see what the catalyst is for a signif significant leg down from here. Let's talk a little bit about fundamentals in the space. What's the demand outlook? Sure. Um, that's, that's certainly one of the unique aspects of this space, particularly within the real estate sector. And uh, in a word, demand is quite robust. And to try to give you a couple of data points or anecdotes to put that in perspective, so there are half a billion Facebook users worldwide, and over New Year's Eve, they uploaded 750 million photos. Now, that's just a massive amount of data. In fact, uh, to store that much data, you, you need on the order of 4,500 servers, which translates to roughly one megawatt of demand, enough to absorb essentially 1% of DuPont Fabros. Uh, portfolio over one weekend. So just a staggering amount of demand. By the same token, there are 24 hours of video uploaded to YouTube every minute. And the growth of online video, social networking, and mobile data traffic is driving intense demand for data center stocks. So from a demand perspective, uh, it remains quite robust. And John, how about the supply side of the equation? Part of the problem, candidly, is that there's, we just don't have great data in this sector. There's no co-star, no one providing a, uh, a list of projects under construction, and so investors are essentially left to come to their own conclusions. Now, we did just host a, uh, a, a Green Street industry conference, and I think we got a, a reasonably good look into the difference between supply that's actually on the drawing board and supply that may be more rumored rather than anything else. And I think that the bottom line conclusion is that the reports of oversupply in this sector have been greatly exaggerated. And we all know about the brisk pace at which technology changes and evolves. What's the risk of obsolescence in this sector? Well, that is the $64,000 question, and it's very hard to say, partly because this is a relatively young, relatively immature sector, so we just don't have that much uh, history, really, to, with which to answer that question. Now, I will make one point, and it's namely that most of these, particularly first-generation leases, uh, tend to be 10 years. So I think it's, it's difficult, really, to make a plausible argument that the useful life is less than 10 years. So if you start with that as, uh, as a base point, then it, it does become an open question. And there, there have been some industry comments recently suggesting that maybe 15 years is the right number. Uh, we at Green Street have set essentially, we've come to a weighted average useful life for the different components of a data center of 20 years. And uh, it's, I think it is very much an open question, and it certainly makes a, a significant difference in terms of the after CapEx returns on this property type. For more information on this and other REIT news and analysis, check out REIT.com. I'm Alan Kenny. <laughs>